everybody. Good evening and wancha wancha. Hello, Mina. I've got a special guest in the dark den today. Yeah! Look at me! <laughs> this is what I wanted to do in my in my last stream. <coughs> I wanted to I wanted to have a collab with Sumu like this. Yeah, I, I it was just. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I didn't sleep well a few nights ago. It's okay. It's okay. So I I, I, I got some good sleep last night, and here I am. <laughs> yeah. We didn't really have a topic in mind for today's spaghetti and meme balls. We just really wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I I just really wanted to have a collab with Vegit. Yeah. Collabs in the future. Mm -hmm. Not just spaghetti meme balls, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, Look yeah. Look forward to that next time. <laughs> I've got my step, my my dad. Um, if you're wondering what all the delay was about, um, my dad got lost. Um, taking one of my sister's dogs to the vet. Understandable. Have a day. Yeah, I was with him because um, we, we were gonna go get coffee, but well, he got lost, and there was so there was all that going on. <laughs> but in the end, um, <clears throat> we 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 got we got home. Uh, Do Doggo's, Doggo's got a headache from being in the heat, but I'll be fine. Mm. So while we're here, I suppose um, we could just talk about whatever we want. Mm. Yeah, today we just talk about whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> well, um, recently I've been um, playing the demo of a game called Monster Menu. Yeah, you, yeah you, you showed us about that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I shared it with the people in the server. I think Quartz knows. Yeah, sorry if my model uh, is, a bit, uh, is a bit jittery. Sometimes, uh, because of how much I move, I tend to, I tend to like, move out of the range of like, the... So that's, <laughs> so that's why that happens. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know it's not just, um... It's good to know it's not just glitching. It's not just glitchy, it's because I move too much. Chat, I'm going to move you down here a bit, because I just noticed the chat box covering my face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's move over to the side just a little. Oh, yeah. Little. <laughs> there we go, now I got space for the chat next to me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I will still be using the dolls for um, my friends that do not have VTube Studio. Yeah, uh, it's just me and Brick Brock that do. Hello, Chiz. So. <laughs> and Brick Brock hasn't even like properly debuted as a VTuber yet. So. <laughs> I, I I I bought the collab DLC as soon as I had the chance. Me too. I really wanted to do this. <laughs> We tried it out and we loved it so much we decided, okay, we're sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fun thing to note, um, Monster Menu is made by the same people who did the Disgaea series. Mm. Yeah, that's what it all style looks so familiar. I think what drew me to this over Disgaea is the um the really in-depth customization. You really like the in-depth customization in games. I, I love getting to create my own characters, and... I that's, mean, why, that's why one of your favorite games is Miitopia. Because <laughs> Mii's are, like, some of the most customizable avatars. Yeah, especially in the in the Switch Miitopia, because, like, the, the makeup feature make, makes customization even bigger. <laughs> that's right, you get more color options, you get wigs, you can, like, build things on your character's face. It's great. Um, play Metopia if you haven't. Yeah, please play <laughs> Metopia. It is a great game. I've actually streamed Metopia once before. <laughs> Check out Metchan's Metopia streams, also. Uh, 
you can't because I've never uploaded them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to, but the hard drive incident. Ah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I want to point this out. Um, this is no, no hate towards this guy at all. But it does give you like a preset cast to work with. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Big Vincent! <Bitchin! laughs> <coughs> Giant Nickel! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah! Save me, chat! <laughs> You're not. I know it will return you to your normal size. <laughs> ah, yay! <laughs> Thank you! There you go. Thank you for hip hop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I was saying, I, 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 this is not me, like, saying I hate this guy, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> I think because I have strong emotions about things, um, people tend to get the wrong idea about how I feel about things. You tend to you tend to express yourself like uh, more, like like uh, more strongly than you actually feel. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I I will say this. Um. I, I I don't hate this guy. Uh, I just prefer Monster Menu for its customization level. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that made by the same company, Quartz? <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of um booba in this company's games. Lots of boobs. As we found out. <laughs> As we found out, there's um, there's one character in the game that I uh, turned into my character Priff for her <laughs> fashion sense. <laughs> We're very scantily clad. <laughs> yeah, the art style um, r reminded me a lot of um. Oh. I didn't know about that. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I sort of, sort of turned her into my character, Pref. <laughs> mm. <coughs> We've got a bit of an art style clash going on here. Yeah, there's a bit of art style clash. Cartoony look and my and my like anime look. <laughs> look at my big old head. <laughs> look! Look at my eyes. Look at my <laughs> eyes. This. <laughs> and there's also you being a furry and me being just just uh just, just I look just like a human with like an octopus on my head. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it's I, I I'm apparently I'm not the only like um anthro VTuber out there, so. Yeah, like that, that's the thing about VTubers. Even though they're commonly associated with anime, they could be any. They could be anything. <laughs> also, I'm gonna show off my my little wiggly, my little wiggly tentacles. I, I I know of um I know of a robot VTuber. And look at the way my hair moves as well. I notice Mitchin's hair like is more jiggly than mine. Cause they're tentacles. <laughs> I, I I think um I think the guy who rigged our models I, I think he kept our like characters in mind because I I'm a corgi. And I got little I I've probably shown it off, but I've got little paw hands as well. 
just an alien, an alien octopus. <laughs> you have regular human hands. <laughs> Yeah, like that's just, that's just no that's just normal on, uh, on my planet. See, uh, I'll show my hand. Look, my arms are a bit wiggly. That's because I don't have bones. <laughs> Look at my little paws. See if I can swing my body over. Look at my little paws. Also, also, I'm gonna show you guys just just how tall. I am. Yeah, let, let, let's let's compare. Look at how much of my body is like. <laughs> let's compare. Be the vengeance! A lot of my height comes from my head. <laughs> we, we, we got a real clash of the art styles going on here, but. Yeah, quite a, quite a art style clash. It's okay. I, I I I like this. I like my model. I like my model too. They were so we both drew our own models, but they were rigged by the same person. <laughs> he was like really like accepting and understanding. I think that's because I well I already had a full body model ready. Like I had a full body reference. I knew exactly what I wanted. I just need someone to rig it. Yeah. He had to improvise on a few things, like the mouth and the eyes, but I like what he did with them! Look, look at my little doggo mouth! Yeah! My, my mouth isn't, isn't very expressive, like, it can only do, like, this and this. That's, a, that's that's okay. I think you're a little more expressive than me, because I, I have two flavors of, like, cat mouth. I can smile though. Yeah, the, I, 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 can, I can do like really smug eyes like this, and you can do just mean doggo. <laughs> I, I can I can do mean doggo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's get back to normal size. Normal <laughs> size. Yeah. I I kind of I kind of like this. I, I I like being short. I so <coughs> sometimes sometimes I don't mind being tall, but sometimes I really wish that I was shorter because there is can be a pain. Um, it's okay. There well, there is nothing funnier than being short like me. Um, it's also kind of a pain sometimes, like when I need to read something on a high shelf. For me, for me, like I have trouble with that, like things lower down because I have to get on my get on all fours to get them, and and I don't usually have the space to do that. I, I have to like sometimes I have to stretch up so hard I feel like my ankles pop. Ouch! Uh, it, it doesn't hurt, if we, but if, I... if we ever if we ever meet in if we ever meet in real life, but I I could get like the high thing. Get the low things. Hey, Dibble! Hey, Dibble! Hey! I would, I would probably be for the best, Vincent. Welcome to our first proper collab stream with the with the VTip collab. <laughs> it's, it's actually um very easy. It's a lot easier to understand and get working than I expected. Yeah. I mean, Brickbrook initially had a bit of trouble, but... <sighs> it's okay. We helped him figure it out, because that's what buddies do for each other. Yeah! You, you guys like my ears? You like my fins? They're like very... They're very cute. I love the way they move. I'm very proud of my ears, if I can say. Yeah, those things at the top of my head are not ears, they are fins. Mm -hmm. 
They do get mistaken for ears a lot, because they're in the same place as ears, but they're not her ears. Yeah, my ears are behind my tentacles. <laughs> I, like, I like this, because my tentacles act as sort of a, sort of a noise canceller, which is good, because I don't really like too much background noise. As for me, um, these are in fact my ears. <laughs> Man, when was the last time I went on vacation? I think it was the time I went to Florida with my with my with my stepdad and my mom. My last vacation was to Cornwall. Ah. Let, let me tell you, authentic Cornish pasties are delicious. I love them. Ah. I I I um. The closest thing I, I know that is like a meat pie. Yeah, it's kind of like a meat pie, but like also kind of like a croissant. It's a bit weird. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> like it's the same sort of shape as a croissant. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, quartz. <laughs> okay, go in, buddy. Yeah. Um. Oren, Oren ended up hurting his little paw, so. Oh no! I've been, I've been keeping him. I'm keeping him in my room for now, making sure he's okay. He's, he's sleeping. Oh, that's good. We think he might have like broken a claw or something. Ah, uh, sounds awful. I'm sure he'll be all right, though. We're we're taking I'm taking care of him in the meantime. Mm, yeah. You know I I I, got, I changed my shirt to go out with my dad, and <clears throat> when I woke up, he was like, or when I woke up, when I got back, he was like curled up on top of my pajamas. I, I think he I think he feels safe on my bed because it's comfortable and it smells like me. Mm, yeah. I mean I mean I mean cats also like really like warm places. I imagine your bed is really warm. <laughs> yeah. It's a place he can warm himself. What are you doing, buddy? I think he's I think he's purring. I think you hear him purring. Aww. Ah, cute. Ryan's a good kitty. Oh no! Difficulties, everyone. Uh, yeah, I think it disconnected, but don't worry, Mechan will be back. Chin's back. Okay. Oh, that didn't take too long at all. Yeah, my internet's been kind of spotty lately. <laughs> yeah. So um. 
I'm surprised that I was able to get through the Discord, though. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's okay if you disconnect. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep the stream going and wait while you reconnect. How's that? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been... We've been taking care of my kitty. I got to get some coffee today. What you been up to today, Mechan? Well, I've been up to today, um... A whole lot of nothing. Ah. <laughs> some days are just, just like that. I just, been, I just been mostly, like, listening to, like, ambient stuff like that. <laughs> some just days... Day. Some days are like that. Some days we do more than others. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to have like a bit of a lazy day today, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I did. Well, I, I got my chores done before I left with my dad, so... I, I really, I really want to go out to Target with someone, but things ah, just... keep doing this! Ugh. It's Sorry. okay. I've just wanted to go out with, to Target with someone, but things have just kept coming up for everybody, and... I, I did go to a museum with my dad a few days ago, though. And, um... They had like a micro box models of animals, of desert animals that you could build, and I bought one of a wolf because, of course, I did. <laughs> also, 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 speaking of like doing stuff in like the real life, I, I decided that we, we decided quite a bit ago that if we if we ever meet in real life, our very first off collab on stream. Will be uh, Mario and Sonic uh, to Olympic Games, like specifically the London 2020. <coughs> that's the best one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, Mechan was because because the Sumo is a big Mario fan, and I am a big Sonic fan. So <laughs> so we're gonna put our favorite franchises up to battle. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, let me let me tell you something. Um, like shovelware Wii games are my guilty pleasure. <laughs> like um, there's one. I love that... how you bring that up as soon as we mention an actual curse <laughs> game. Like, uh, I'm sorry, it sounds like you're implying something. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Mario and Sonic is a good game. But shovelware Wii games are my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I, I I love the Wii. I, I guess what I meant is um I, I love Wii games and like shovelware in particular is my guilty pleasure. There's one game that I've had but there's a WiiWare game I've had my eyes on li ri lately. If you want to play shitty mini games while being berated, we need to play a game called Drill Sergeant Mindstrong. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. Ooh, I do like Pokemon also. Mm, Pokemon is also good, yeah. I'm a, I'm a huge Pokemon nerd, and I can like name any Pokemon just by seeing a picture of it. Yeah, you should do a stream like that. You should do a stream where you, where, where where we get out like pictures of random Pokemon and you 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 name you name them just from looking at the picture. Oh, I'd love to do that. It's really easy to like set up a slideshow in OBS, so some of the some of the newer ones can text. I I I actually struggle with the 
ones from... I, 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 it's it's kind of weird. The, the gen that I think I'm the least familiar with is actually Gen 4, which is bad because that's, I, that's Zubim's favourite. <laughs> well, don't worry. You'll have Bulbapedia on your side. Oh, I love Gen 3, like the snail, um... Do you mean Wo Chien? The, um, the tablet snail, that's part of the ruinous treasures. Chiyu is one of the most popular ones because, I mean, just look at it! It's a fish! It's, it's a little fire fish. <laughs> Wo Chien was actually the only one I was able to find without a guide. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I, I had to use a map of the stakes to find the others. Like, um, you know we got a ghost dog in Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, we got a ghost dog and Zubu is so happy about it. I actually, I, I want to catch one and name Zubu, but they will be the only ones that I find the male. I want to go. <laughs> I, 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 I so want to find a shiny Grievard. Like, I, I, I know they spawn on the mountain. You, you... Yeah, that's a problem, because, like... Okay, whenever I do find a female one, whenever I do find one, like... I, I try to I try to catch it and it's all and it always fails because it's like strong but, but because it's like strong because it's like strong enough for me but strong enough for like most like balls to not work on it but also it's 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 but also it's weak enough for me to kill it in one hit. <laughs> Use quick balls. <laughs> that's that's how I catch my Pokemon, quick balls. I should probably get more quick balls, yeah. You know, um, Scarlet and Violet was the game I, like, found my first natural shiny in. Mm, yeah, tell them about that. Tell them about, like, tell them about the, the, the Toxel. Tell them about the Toxel. <laughs> um, I, I was playing Violet late one night. <laughs> I forget what I was doing. I, I, I think I was looking for a specific Pokemon trying to fill out the Pokedex. I was in the area where Toxel spawn. I rode past one that, um, I swore it was pink. Like, I swore the thing was pink, and I was like, wait a minute, is, is that Toxel a different color? It turns out it was. It was a shiny. I caught him. It's the very first shiny I found on my own. Oh. What's this? Yeah, I'll find the shiny one day too. Like, I've I've been like I've been like given like shinies and like like eventually we're gonna have like a party to like help find help find uh, a sh the shiny version of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> one of these days we we will look for if we if we um if if we um like let me tell you something um. If we um, like make a fairy sandwich for finding like shiny fairy types, um, we can find a Gardevoir, or a Ralts, and a Fido. Yeah. Because Fido. Can, we can have. We can have. We can have. We can have. We can have shiny my favorite, and we can have shiny shiny bread dog. Yeah. My favorite Pokemon is um is actually Chandelure. Which, it's not in Scarlet and Violet, but it was in Short and Shield. Mm. 
Yeah, my favorite Pokemon is God of War. I know what some people are thinking, and no, it's not for that reason. It's because it's because my my God of War on my Emerald team was like she, she was my daughter. Like I <laughs> I, I loved it a bit. But yeah. I... I mean, let me tell you something. I, I I grew like weirdly attached to a to a young goose. Like I I caught one in Sun just to like fill out my Pokedex, but by the time she evolved, I just couldn't let her go. <laughs> like I I wanted to keep her. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna build dog team. Yeah, you gotta build a dog team. We 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 have enough dog Pokemon at this point that I gotta do dog team at some point. Yeah, at some point you, you'll be able to make a whole fucking team of dogs. <laughs> I, I I think the thing I found with me is and, and Pokemon is um give me time and they will grow on me. It happened with Incineroar. It happened with Gumshoes. It happened with Salazzle. It happened with you. You, you, you want to know something? You want to know something? Litten is actually my favorite starter Pokemon. <laughs> I, I liked Litten, but I wasn't sure how I felt about Incineroar. I like Incineroar. He 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 he. My my foof. He's. He's 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 the heel wrestler. <laughs> oh, that's that reminds me. Yes, you can have a cat team. Yeah, you can also have a whole team of cats. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you're a crazy cat lady, then <laughs> you especially can do no. That. We have a fire cat. We have a grass cat. When are we getting a water cat? Yeah, we need water kitty. We need water kitty. <sighs> I'm 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 not I'm not counting I'm not counting Vaporeon because Vaporeon's more dog-like. I feel. Yeah, Vaporeon is like it's like a mer puppy. Yeah, you know? it's it's like a dog. <laughs> no, there are some there are more there are some Eevee. And I love Vaporeon, so <laughs> there are some Eevee evolutions that are more cat-like, like Espeon and Umbreon. But Vaporeon is doggo, and no one can tell me otherwise. <coughs> yeah, I think Porygon is supposed to be like built like a duck, especially with Porygon two. Yeah, yeah, like very duck-like. Eveline is just generic mammal. It's 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 it's, it's very fox-like, but also there's okay, like some evolutions are a bit more dog-like, but some are definitely supposed to be cat. Like uh, Espion, for example. Yeah, I, I see. I see where Quartz is coming from because some are more like cats, some are more like dogs. It, it, it's just furry quadruped. Yeah. <laughs> quadruped. Quadruped. <laughs> Yeah, Leafeon, Rabbit Ears, I do kind of see that on Leafeon and Eevee, yeah. Yeah, Leafeon is more like a rabbit, isn't it? Cat, dog, rabbit, fox thing. <laughs> yes. I am... <laughs> Say what you want, but Flareon's my favorite. I love my, my mine is my, my, my Mine is Vaporeon. I will never forgive the internet for what they have done to Vaporeon's reputation. Neither will I. Neither will I, Nechan. Le leave the fish dog alone, you sickos. I I I I I mean that. Leave him alone. Leave leave, leave my wave alone. <laughs> yes yes, my Vaporeon is called Wave. Cause haha vaporwave joke. <laughs> <laughs> vaporwave. My favorite type, believe it or not, is actually ghost types. My favorite type is psychic types. Because um I, I I've always liked I've always liked Gengar, but nowadays especially the ghost types have just gotten cuter and cuter. 
psychic types because okay, Sada's uh my, my favorite my favorite Pokemon is is what like what 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 cemented my love for psychic types, but also because a lot of psychic types are like space and I love space. <laughs> I would have also like figured you'd like water types. I do like water types, yeah. I mostly pick fire starter types. I might I mostly pick fire for my starter Pokemon though, because it's usually harder to get fire types early in the game. <laughs> ah, alright. I I tend to pick water types as my starter, but you guys I, I could not pick I couldn't not pick um Sprigatino because it's a kitty! I actually went. I actually went with uh, went with the water type this time. I went with uh, went with Quaxley. <laughs> Fui Coco is absolutely a friend, though. And now he is the fab, the fabulous Jack the Quackwabal. <laughs> I um, I actually hacked a Quack or I I hatched a Quaxley, evolved him into Quackwabal, and named him Pave. <laughs> if you know, <laughs> you the know. Animal Crossing character. Exactly! <laughs> because Pave is a peacock and Quackwaval is a peacock. I am. I am. ended up getting like a, a Japanese skeleton urge as well. <laughs> like, just through Wonder Trade. Sorry about that. I was uh, I was, <laughs> I was drinking and it cut and it cut off my camera for a sec. Uh, but yeah, I I just randomly, I, I randomly just got got a, a Quackwaval or not a Quackwaval. Randomly got a Skeleton from um Wonder Trade. Nice. A female Skeleton too. So. Female starters. Yeah, female starters used to be super rare. I think it's 50 50 again, but. Skelly <laughs> girl. Yeah, in, in, yeah, in case you don't know, I, I like to call skeletons skelly boys, <laughs> but if it's specifically a girl skeleton, I call it skelly girl. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of happy that um that 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 um Wonder Trade is a thing now because I I love the surprise of it. Mm. I'm a dog. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like. <laughs> oh god, I, I don't want to sound cringe, but it's like gotcha. <laughs> I'm a doggo gotcha. who loves surprises. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You, you should do like a, a Wonder Trade stream and. Like, like, present it like it's like a gotcha game. <laughs> oh. If I ever get myself a Switch capture card, I'm gonna do that. Yes. I, I kind of did want to stream Monster Menu, but like, okay, it has a censoring option, but um, the censoring is for like gore, like it'll censor like organs and eyeballs because those are. Items you can get. Well, as long as uh, there's no like actual nudity, right? No, so, just so that, should, so that should be fine. <laughs> All right, yeah, because as far as I know, there's no nudity, just very skimpy outfits. Yeah, like scantily clad is fine. <sighs> All right. Oh, just just a second. Alright, there we go. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I am. Um, one thing I did notice about. Ooh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna stream Panic again on Sunday. I wanna see! I wanna see! I love Panic! I love it when you stream Panic! Just, just, just make sure you have the censorship burger ready for uh, that gag. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
I love, I, 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 there's one room in particular. Two technically, because there's two versions of this room. But there's one room that I must have censorship burger on hand for. Yeah, boobs. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. Like, a character with boobs, like, like a character, a character with, like, a big chest is one thing. Just uncovered boobs right out there is another entirely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like see, like see, look, look, look at, look at me. I'm, I'm fully clothed, doggo. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mitchin. It's okay, no worry. <laughs> <coughs> Although um, I, 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 I will tell you. you guys, want to know a secret? I do have toe beans. Toe beans! I have toe beans um, on my feet, but I, I don't just... No free paw picks. I don't just show my paws to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the most interesting thing about like my phys physiology is, like like I said, uh, I don't have bones. <laughs> <laughs> And so my arms are kind of like rubber hose arms. <laughs> Does your... Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna ask something about octopus. Does your hair get darker when you get angry? Does it get darker when I get when I get angry? Um, it, it 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 can it can, but sometimes I can control it. <sighs> ah, all right. Cause I I know um octopus will just like straight up. Black is a color of aggression for octopus. Yeah, black is like aggressive color. Yeah. I'm like really pissed. My hair becomes like pure black and like blood red at the bottom, and it's just like <laughs> you, you don't want to mess with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright. I'll um, I'll take a look at that after stream, courts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I turned I turned into Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> like yeah. Don't 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 take what I said any other way. Octopus turn black when they get aggressive. Yep. <laughs> Which, um, you, you know they um they did an experiment to see how an octopus reacts to different color cloths. <laughs> And he, um, he really liked the orange one, <laughs> for some reason. Or, or, orange, orange seems to be like a, like a friendly color, I mm -hmm. suppose. Yeah. I wonder if like orange is like friendly or if it indicates food. turns blue. I think like blue is like I think blue means calm in terms of like mood rings. My blood is blue. Yeah, that's another thing octopus have. Yeah. A lot of sea creatures do. Now um I, I, I I'm a ghost so I just don't have blood. Ah, yeah, blue is the, um... Blue is the, uh, calm color in Mood Rings, according to this chart. Mm, so that means that you're a generally calm person. <laughs> it usually turns purple with me. Mm, what about purple? According to this chart, um, blue means happy and or in love. <laughs> Not sure what that says about me! <laughs> Mood ring in like ages. <laughs> I can't 
can't even remember what colours the, the, the usually happens. I wonder I wonder if there's an I wonder if that's it is there's a colour like indicating like like su like super excited or super anxious, like those colours would probably be like the ones that do <laughs> come come up for me. Yeah. Uh, like, those are my two moods. Super super anxious and super excited. <laughs> apparently green is for excitement. <laughs> Uh, I have been thinking of getting some. They usually do black, blue, green, blue, green, and yellow, but some have warm hues. Ah! Wait, yellow is a warm hue, though. <laughs> I, okay, fair enough, but I think she means, like, usually have red and some have red and orange as well. Ooh, and purple! Purple too. Purple's a common color for mood rings. Yeah, purple. It's like, um, I, I believe mood rings are made out of a material that, like, changes color with, like, blood pressure and body temperature. Hmm. I see. So that's, so that's how they can like read your mood and stuff because your body does actually like change in that sort of in that sort of way when you're like in certain moods. <laughs> yeah, it it tells what mood you're in by reading your body heat. Sometimes it messes up because like some people just like their their, their, <laughs> their natural body body heat just doesn't really match up with. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes you get a misreading. Yeah. Yeah, so it should be taken with a pinch of salt, really, but... <laughs> I've been thinking... I've been thinking about getting some music that's, like, custom-made to me, but I'm gonna miss this. I, I, have, I, have, I, have been, I have been thinking about, like, making, making the music, but I... I've been, I've been in a slump regarding that for years. <laughs> it's alright, um... I, I'm probably gonna... Um, <laughs> Probably gonna hire someone to do it. To be honest, maybe maybe I should hire someone to make me me. Yeah. Yeah. I did really want to make my own, but I am I'm no. I, I just couldn't. <laughs> I I'm no good with making music, so I'm no good with making music, and I love to support artists, so I might commission someone. I am gonna miss this song, though. I I can't really hear the music that you're playing on on stream when uh when you when you play the when you play the music. So because I because I have your stream muted when I'm uh, on stream with you. So I just put on like some like lo-fi music while I'm watching, but while I'm, while I'm watching myself. <laughs> it's okay though. You you know my usual stream chat music. <laughs> it's 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 from a really weird DS software. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. I remember. Please remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got about ten minutes left. See what else have I been doing lately? Uh, ooh, new Splatoon season coming at the end of the month. Oh yeah, <coughs> yeah. And it's got it's got a, it's got a, it's got a new it's got a new weapon based on the super scope. New music too. Scar music. 
music. Yeah, it's the ska music. And the mall stage humpback pump track is coming back. I think this new um, mall stage is going to become my favorite. <laughs> I, I really like Brinewater Springs, but... <laughs> Let me tell you something though, um... I think we, we, we got a little peek at the new catalog and I think it has kimonos in it! Nice! Oh, good point. Say, say, say what you want, but um, I hear that in Japan they actually like it a lot when um foreigners wear kimonos properly. Mm, from what I hear, they do, yeah. As, as long as long as they're like. As long as they're like keeping it to like, uh, as long as they're like not like clearly just like uh, like messing it all up and like doing it in like very inappropriate context. Yeah, like <laughs> wear it in the proper context. Like a casual, there's a difference between casual and formal kimonos. Like a casual. Yeah, like there, there's a whole like culture around kimonos. Like. Uh, do, do your research. <laughs> like a casual kimono is like generally fine for most occasions. Yeah. At like parties and stuff like that though, you'd want to wear like a formal kimono. <laughs> yeah. I like learning about I'm, I'm American. I'm a very American doggo, but I like learning about other cultures. I've been learning about Japan for like, uh, for, for like well over a decade at this point. I would love to travel one day. That way, I really, I really, I really want to go on a trip to Japan one day. I feel like, I feel like, uh, knowing what I've learned about Japan, like, I feel, I feel like I could survive there. Except when it comes to reading, I would, I would probably need help with that. I'm, I'm still not. I still can't read Japanese. I can't read Japanese, but um, I hear my pronunciation is pretty good for for a native English speaker. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I, I can speak basic Japanese. I, I just pick up bits of different languages from various places. Well, 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 can I can I demonstrate my uh, my Japanese language skills? <laughs> Go ahead and nobody laugh at her. If you laugh at her, I will find you and I will put I will hide a Lego on your floor. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to think of a phrase to say. All right. up like bits of, of different languages especially for my favorite content creators <laughs> I've, I've started up I've I've worked Halu into my regular vocabulary for one I uh, yeah in, in the Indonesian it, yeah Halu is Indonesian slang and uh, it basically means delusional <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's an Indonesian content creator I watch. She encourages her overseas audience to use it. 
But let's just say that, that let's let's just say that she is not a turkey. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a lot of them. Come to think of it, like a few people, like that. That's the thing I've noticed is that like people are generally like pretty chill. As long as you're like using their culture in the correct context. Yeah, just just do your research when it comes to like different cultures. I feel. Yeah, I want to travel one day and see the world outside my country. <sighs> it is getting roasting in here. I'm gonna get an ice cream. All right. Thankfully, I have a mini fridge right next to me. Has an ice cream drawer. <laughs> I have a bag of lollipops in the drawer next to me. Nice. I love lollipops. I like hard candy, but I have to be careful because I've got sensitive teeth. I have been all over the U.S. But I've never been outside of it. Well, we we've got a couple of minutes left, so um Anything anything you'd like to say to close things off? Follow us to see what we'll back in. <laughs> Quick dissolve rock candy. Mm. Yeah, I, I I love rock candy, but I hurt my jaw eating it a few days ago. Ah, rock candy. I learned my lesson. I just let it dissolve in my mouth now. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for joining us for another episode of Spaghetti and Meme Balls. Um, we'll be doing this again next month. And on Sunday, I'm going to play Panic, and then it's back to Jackbox on Mondays. Yeah! Um, check out my, my friend Mechan's channel, if you haven't already. It's uh, Mechan Otaku, I believe. Mechan Otaku. I'm going to type in the chat. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Follow my friend Mechan if you haven't. And yeah. until until Sunday, say bye bye, Mechan. Bye bye. Later, guys.